Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do this quick video because I came across this that applies. Very interesting. I know we get caught up in the drama and sometimes it can get past the TV screen and transmit over to the real world and really affect these people that are on the shows. So I came across the clip and shout out to Kamisha Reviews. Uh, she has a whole video giving the tea on what goes behind on the show Ready to Love. And she was interviewing the um, cast member by the name of Tina. Shout out to her. She is an awesome person. I love watching her and seeing how she moves and what she has to talk about. And she really is very candid about this subject. The subject is editing. And a lot of people always say, oh, you can't blame editing on everything. It's not always editing fault. We don't know the half of how deep this goes when TV shows want to present a narrative to, of course, trigger the fans a reaction to get the drama going, to get the talking going. And, of course, they get sponsorships from viewers and ratings and, you know, they get paid at the end of the day. In the meantime, it leaves a lot of the fans in fighting with each other because people have a difference of opinions over these cast members and also leave a situation where the cast are being dragged for things that in most cases it seems that is out of their control. So I'm going to let you listen to this short clip. I thought it was very defining, very interesting. Take what you wish. But that's the one reason why my channel, I try to keep everything objective. I enjoy love, romance, and things like that. But we do talk about the drama, but sometimes we have to keep it status quo and not take it to the extremes. And that's one thing I promote on this channel. So without further ado, I'm going to let you guys check it out. And then I'll be back and we can talk a little bit more. Here we go. You, because especially when you hear cast members say, well, that's not what I said completely. I said a little bit of that, but you didn't get the whole scene or whatever, you know, da da da. Editing. Listen, editing is real. Um, I tell anybody straight up, I, I knew about editing before coming on to this show. Like, because people were like, oh, you knew you were getting yourself into. You knew you were going on TV. Mm. Yes, I knew. I knew about editing. But let me be honest. I thought editing was like, you have to shorten the scene. I didn't think that they created characters or that they mm. created a narrative or that they can make you into be who they want you to be. Those are two different things when you're just prepared for editing. Um, and I think wow. people are not really aware of the lengths that it can go when you know that you're just being open and vulnerable and my, yourself and you're sharing your strengths and your weaknesses because that's what you do when you're dating. That's what you do when you're dating. You know, you really want to know what someone's about. And so in those moments, you're just talking and whatever, whatever. And the next thing you know, that one sentence is being edited and clipped in a total different scene. And you're like, wait, what? That, mm -hmm. I didn't say that right then. I said this right there. And, you know, so, I mean, I'm not mad at my editing. I don't feel like my editing was that bad. I, what was shown was said. It just wasn't shown how it was said in that sequence, you know. And, right. Making it seem like my ex just came on TV saying I'm throwing phones now and hundred percent, you know, no, or even me showing up to the date with Donovan. Yeah, they had to make it seem like I was checked out because mentally, physically, spiritually, I was checked out of the whole season and process. And so, the editing is is real. It tells a story, but it's just how it's edited to viewers where it can really make something seem like what it isn't. Okay, so I wanted to share that quick little sound bite with you guys. Again, shout out to Kamisha Reviews. She did a long live interview with uh, Tina from the reality dating show Ready to Love. This is one of many dating and married relationship type shows. And guys, we that's why I a lot of people say, well, why you don't go hard on some of these people and you don't like the bullying and you don't do this, da, 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 da. That's why. Because in most cases, it's not 100% of who these people truly are. And I always put that in the comment section when I'm talking to people and having these conversations about these cast members. Is that when it comes to reality TV, if everything was sunshine, rainbows, and everything else just moving smooth... For the most part, the show would be pretty much boring to some people. Now, to us who love love and romance, 
we look at it as get the tissues, pull out the tissue boxes because we like that kind of stuff. But without that contrast and that drama, that's, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't like the drama. I don't like the drama. But then when the drama happens, they're here for it. Right. So producers know that. And if they can't get natural drama, then they will manufacture drama, even if that's creating a whole new narrative, something that the cast member is not, whatever the situation may be. And I know on one of the shows that I review, I mean, this girl is getting dragged. There's petitions out for her. There are, uh, I heard that recently she got fired from her job and she got removed from the university that she was attending. She can't shop in the store. That's the effect of what people consume on television and what we see and the triggering that we get from things that we watch, you know. So, like I say, I take this for as, as, as television, it's entertainment. We talk about it on the live chats. We find this stuff interesting. You know, I look for the love and the romance, the progression and the growth. That's what I look for, which is what happened when we saw with Miles and Karen. They showed us none of it. They only showed us the bad stuff. And then when they said yes at decision day, all of the fans felt like they had been gaslit because they were like, well, wait a minute. We saw two different realities. They're happy, married. They're moving on now, married two years. But all we saw was this about Karen and about Miles, you know, and over the previous seasons, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share that with you just to kind of get you guys to see what actually happens I don't want anything bad to happen to any of you guys, whether that's my fellow, um, you know, other content creators, you know, my fans and my fan section, because I don't like to see you guys in fighting over some of this stuff. But I mean, you also have the right to say what you want to say, you know, but it doesn't have to go to the level of bullying. And then and you guys know over here, I don't see a lot of that. So not really you guys. So don't worry about that. And then also, I don't like what happened to the cast. I mean, I do talk to some of them. You know, I've, as I've stated, I won't mention no names because I like keeping that quiet. But I do have conversations with some of them. And some of these folks' lives are turned upside down. And like she said, you probably know what you signed up for, but you really don't until you're in this. So I just wanted to share this with you guys to give you guys a little bit more insight we saw what happened, as I already spoke on my Married at First Sight Boston uh, episode 12 recap in regards to we had editing with the phone drama. And then we had editing with the scenes that was taken here and there and tattoo, no tattoo. It's just crazy, you know. And so, um, you know, I just want to give you guys insight. That's it. So I'm not going to keep this video, you know, going on too long. I just wanted to share that clip with you again. Shout out to Kamisha Reviews. She is an awesome content creator. And shout out to Tina from um, Ready to Love Season 6. She did an excellent job. Go over to Kamisha Reviews. They did a huge interview over there. Check out all the tea that she had to drop behind the scenes if you are a Ready to Love fan. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.